All right, so today we're gonna make a coil pot and you can decide what shape you want it to be and you can decide whether or not you wanna be able to see the coils or if you wanna smooth it all together and have it be a solid piece that is not gonna allow liquids to come through. We can kind of smooth things together as well. So we're gonna start by making the base of the pot. So you can decide, okay, do I wanna see the coils and I wanna make it out of a coil or do I wanna make it just with a flat piece? So if you want it to be a flat piece with no spaces in between, you're gonna want a chunk of clay and I'll call you guys up by table to come up to the bag up here. I've got a bunch of clay up there ready to go for you. So you're gonna take a ball of clay that's, um, depending on how big you want your base to be, maybe like a little bit bigger than golf ball size, and you're gonna smooth out your ball of clay. You're just gonna kinda rub it around with a little tiny bit of water. You don't wanna get it too slippery. If it's super slippery and soggy, like soggy cereal, it's gonna be very difficult to work with. So just a little bit of water added to it is great. It's like Goldilocks and the Three Bears with clay. If it's too hot, can't eat it. If it's too cold, can't eat it. But that's like wet and dry with clay. If it's too wet, can't use it. If it's too dry, can't use it. But try to get it just right. A little bit of water there. And once you get some of the cracks smoothed out, you can just kind of roll it in your hand. Just kind of pack it in. Get any large lumps out of there and it doesn't have to be completely perfect but just kind of get it around and then you're just going to pat it between your hands you just kind of flatten it out in your palms if there are any bulging spots like this spot is a little bit thicker than some of these other ones you can just kind of pat on that spot a little bit and then once you feel like it's pretty flat you can set it down on your mat and if you want to, you can just kind of roll over it a little bit with a rolling pin. The goal is to get a nice flat piece that's about the size of your pinky, not much smaller than that. So that's a good size for a base. Now, if you want to use a coil to make your base, you are going to want to take a piece of clay, and this is probably even too much because this will make a really long coil. This will be so long. So I'm gonna take maybe a smaller piece than what I even had before. Get it nice and moist again. And roll it up, just rolling it between my palms. Now coils are tricky in here because these canvas surfaces are really dusty from other classes using them. They're gonna be great for keeping your clay from sticking to the table, but they're not great for rolling coils. So whenever you're gonna roll a coil, you may want to move some other things out of the way and fold your canvas in half. I'm gonna do that now so that I don't forget about that. I'm just gonna fold this up. There's a few little dusty pieces on mine because I didn't clean mine off today, but yours should be pretty clean from the last class. I'm just gonna fold that over and set it to the side. Set my pot on there because I want my pot to um, not stick to the table while I'm working with it. Okay, there we go. Then I can roll on the table and that will give me a nice smooth coil that won't dry out as fast and it won't get little pieces of clay stuck into it. So all of us are going to be making things with coils for sure because we're going to be building our pot with coils in just a little bit. And some of you are making a little pancake shape like this for the base. But if you want to make the base with a coil, you're just gonna get it wet and you're gonna have to slip and score it together. So these nice toothbrushes that have never been used in anyone's mouth are here for you to brush the clay. That is going to be scratching the clay and it is adding this clay glue. Does anybody know what that's called? It's an S word, slip, the slip. So you're gonna slip and score in one motion with that and then you can roll it together. Just gonna roll it up. 
So this is the other option for your base. I'm gonna kind of squish it together so I don't have too many gaps. And then I can attach on another coil and build out from there until it's as big as I want my base to be. Once you have your base ready, you can start making coils just like we saw just a moment ago. And you can kind of set them aside and keep making more because you're gonna need a lot of coils. Okay. base made on your uh, pot there, you can um, start making more coils. So you always want to start out the coils by like squishing them and rolling them in your hand to get them closer to the size that you need them to be. If you start with a huge wad of clay like this and roll it on the table, it's just super awkward and like you can't get it going. So start out like that and roll it in your hands. You can even squish it if you really need to. If it starts to get a lot of cracks in it, it may be getting too dry. So just take one little drop of water on your finger from the slip bucket and rub it onto your clay. You don't want your clay to be super shiny. If it's shiny, then it's sticky and it's gonna stick to the table and that's not good. So you want it not shiny. You have to rub it in until it's not shiny anymore. Then you can start rolling on the table. Now you have to get a nice long roll. If you don't get a long enough roll, meaning like back and forth for like distance wise, then it's going to start to get flat and then it's just going to start thudding. It's going to go and then you'll know that you're not getting a long enough roll. Over here, I haven't gotten to this part yet, so it's kind of thudding. I'm gonna look at the, it's kind of, let's see, can you see that? It's kind of wide. I'm just gonna kind of like squish that in to make it less wide, and then it should start rolling a little bit nicer for me. Now, if you wanna get real fancy with it, you can roll up your sleeves and you can use your forearm because it's got a nice smooth surface no bumps right there, but there's lots of bumps on your hand. So when you're rolling with bumps, it may cause it to not be as smooth. But if you can move stuff out of the way and get a nice long roll with your arm, just lightly back and forth over the whole coil, trying to get the coil to be about the size of your finger, probably not any smaller than your pinky finger, especially at the base of the pot, because whatever is on the base of the pot is going to be holding up the weight of the rest of the pot. So it really needs to be strong down there towards the bottom. Once you get a coil made, you can start attaching it. But how do we attach things to clay? Score and slip. So we're going to get that toothbrush, scrub, and we're just doing around the outside so that we can build up. Now, if you want your project to go out at all or in, you just kind of move over the coil as you build up. So I'm gonna put this on here and I'm gonna press down so that it goes against the other clay. We don't wanna just set it on there. We have to kind of press it in so it'll stay together. Now I've got this part where I can come over and start building up, but I've got a gap in there that gap is not so great. So what you can do is make yourself a little ramp by just pressing that clay down, just rub it down. Get yourself a little ramp. You can just, let's see what happens when I wrap this around. Much smoother, it fits together much nicer. But now I'm on that second layer, what do I have to do? Mm-hmm. I know, it's just, so much work myself as a student I kept thinking why do I have to do this it's just so annoying I keep having to slip and score and smooth everything and I just want to make my pot faster but your pot might fall apart and then it's just a total waste of time so make sure you get things squished on there now if you want it to go out a little bit you just instead of placing your coils right on top of the other coil you just scoot it out a little bit. 
so that one is scooted out a little bit and if I turn to the side you can see how it's starting to come out whereas this side is going straight while you're working it's a good idea to turn your pot frequently and look at it from all sides so that you know what's happening all the way around now if you go out too fast like you put one right out here and there's nothing holding it up once you get some more weight on top of that that's just going to come crashing down so make sure you get enough of it on top of the other coil underneath before you start moving on one more thing before you go back to work you may need to use a trimming tool like this this nice little cutting tool it's got a nice thin spot there and cut the end of one coil to attach it. I'm gonna take this part because I don't need this. Attach them together smoothly like that. And remember to keep going. It's hard to remember on every single layer. You just keep coming around there so fast. And then before you know it, you're needing to slip and score again. If you need extra clay, you can come grab more out of the bag.